Hello, welcome back to the channel. Another video on the discovery. All the welding's done. Everything's done on here on the list. Uh, headliner, uh, welding deeper in the seat to actuate and replaced. Uh, we can't replace the bonnet, so we painted it. We've got one thing the balls are on the screen. Little mat missing, but that don't really matter. Clean and polish. The big thing is the speedo. Speedo's not working. So, looking into this online, it's the first time we've had a speedo problem. Three things it can be the speedo itself, the um, slabs unit, which controls the brakes and all things like that, and will control the, um, the set signal that's sent to the speedo. And then there's something that sing sends the signal to the slabs, which is located in the gearbox, um, which is called the VVS, I think, um, which is like a, a little sensor that sends the signal. But you do have to drop the sump to get that out. So first, I'm going to check the slabs unit, check if there's any corrosion or anything like that. We have got a spare one. They do need to be programmed for the car. So if that looks rotten, we will put the spare one in and just see if it makes the spare work. If it does, then we can program it to the car. If it doesn't, next step is to take the sensor out. Um, in the gearbox so i'll just show you where it is and then we're going to take it out it's hard to get the camera in there so we'll just show you where it is and then we'll take it out and show you what it looks like so passenger side under here under the well you've got to take the glove box out to get to it so a couple of screws to the bottom of the glove box there undo them uh, flip the glove box down and then it, it comes just comes out and behind the glove box once that's down you'll see there's the bcm and the slabs unit here's the spare one so that's what it looks like. Bit of a nightmare to get to um, and get out. You'd have to sort of squeeze in this gap. So we are going to be able to film it, but it is under there. If you look at our video on where the BCM is located, this is right by it, and we show a bit more on that. But we are going to do it in this video. I'm just going to get it out and change it, and then see if it fixes the speed up. See you in a bit. Right. So we've uh, Dad's fitted the slabs. We've just left it hanging down there. Um, down there it is, look. You can see that. So you can see that that's all up behind there in the dashboard. It's held in on this cradle. So we swapped that over. We've put the car up in the air so we can turn the wheels. So we're going to jump in, put the key in, start it, put it in gear, and see if the speedo works. So we'll do that now. I'm going to do this from the passenger side. Uh, I'm so the car started. We've got all the lights on, which you would expect because we've got no slabs in it. Uh, we're going to take the handbrake off and we're going to put it in drive. Wheels going around. Yeah. Now we got nothing. Nothing there. These are sticks, I'll compress the, only the sticks, I'll compress the accelerator. So you've seen, it, you've seen it pop up there, it's definitely working, so it's definitely the slabs that was causing an issue. Um, I think what we should do is, I think we should take this apart, Dad, and spray it with some um, electrical cleaner, because it's easier for, if we can get that working, then it is going to be to program this one, because you've got all the lights on there. Yeah. So, okay. um, we'll have a look inside it, see whether it is rusty, it don't look rusty. No. Nah. But you never know inside if there's a bit of green on summit because um, this car did leak so it could have a, a bit of corrosion inside if it has then that's the issue you can see there's a bit of corrosion at the back of the cradle there but it ain't too bad in there not like the other side the other side's got a fair bit of corrosion in it but that's the thing to do anyway so let's turn it off i'm gonna just test it one more time because yeah it's definitely working yeah, it's def definitely working. Uh, let's turn it off. Sorry about this camera, I'm going, it's going crazy. So, speedo issue is that. So whoever would, had got the binnacle off and was messing all about with that was in the wrong area. It, it was this that was the problem. So we'll get this stripped down 
and um, we take the screws out and then we'll show you inside it and see what it looks like inside spray some electrical cleaner away we go right. right this is the slabs open you can see it's got like a waterproof protection over this eh? yeah um, and it looks to be okay but we're going to take these two screws out here there's a couple of torques there and there we'll look at the back of it and we're just going to spray it with um electrical cleaner anyway and put it back in because it's much easier to do that and get this working with the um the car than it is to get that other one um programmed in because we've never done that before i think the hawkeye does do it but it's not something we've done before and i think this will be the easier option and we're all about the path of least resistance so we'll take that apart and we'll see where we go so this one's going back in so the old unit is out there well not the old unit the one we put in that works which we had off another car uh, and just kept it for this very reason um, and that one's giving in the connectors are pretty hard to get out and it's, especially when it, if you if you try and get them out while it's up in the hole if you dangle it down there they're easier to get out so we'll put that in and we're going to try it again now we've put some electrical cleaner in it and see if that works hopefully it does all right here we go again i don't know what you can see of this i'm trying my best but i'm leaning over so I will start it. So all the lights have gone off now, which is good. Let's put it in gear. And then on the accelerator. And that's working. So that's another job fixed, and that's a simple one. So that was our issue. And obviously, it was either water in there or a bad connection, but now that's fixed by just putting this one in and making sure it was there. So we're happy with that. We'll take it out and just make sure, get around the block a few times. We're going to stick a radio in it because we have got a front for this one. And then this one can be washed, and it's another one done. When putting the glove box back in or getting it out, there's two wow. spring loaded clips. Ching chongs. Oh, sorry. Dingies. Yeah, and they've got to clip in to that area there. So you've got to actually hold them up with your hands when you put the glove box in. So hold them in position and then slot it in. And it just drops down and then you've got the four of course that <laughs> You've got the four little bolts, <laughs> still I. You've got the four little bolts underneath then, that have just got to be done up. Oh, there you go. I can do it by feel. I'm going to at this. There we go. And then just the four bolts. And then there's just four bolts underneath. Fold it in position, which are in them clips there. Which look like something that's like an afterthought off a wardrobe. But they are definitely supposed to be there. Speedo, and we've just um, checked it with Google Maps, and it's very close to the uh, speed that we should be doing um, on sat nav. So that's all sorted as well. So if you have an issue with your Speedo, check the slabs uh, before you start getting a bit in depth with anything in the gearbox. I hope this helps you out. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. See you soon. Yeah. That's a paint being right with the left hand. So. Well, if you both do it, then I'm going to do the second one. Good God!